Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik alayhi wa alayhi He always know that Sayyidina Muhammad will never leave the hand of his nation. That the love of Sayyidina Muhammad is so immense, so immense that that love will never stop reaching to those whom love and whom follow. Not even have to love Prophet but they're following the nazar of Prophet and love upon Prophet will be dressing them. And only Allah are inheriting that the nazar of these shaykhs, these real awliya, their love never changes for their students. Their students for them are an amanat and a trust from the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad It's not a personal property and possession. But these are the servants of Allah the lovers and Ahbab and Nabi and only Allah are responsible to guide them, watch over them, protect them regardless of their condition of their love. It's not so petty that they're so small that they need your love to love you back. Their love is for Sayyidina Muhammad it's not for any person anyways. Your love is for them. Their love is for Prophet That love never changes and always they're praying that it increase the love for Sayyidina Muhammad As a result of that love, that holy hadith, I become the ears in which you hear, the eyes in which you speak, the breath in which you breathe, the tongue in which you speak, the hands in which you touch and the feet in which you move. For Prophet that's Allah For Ahbab and Nabi that's Sayyidina Muhammad The Prophet will be the hearing that they hear, the eyes in which they see, the breath in which they breathe, the tongue. How they, they speak from reality is, is the inheritance from the holy heart of Sayyidina Muhammad The merciful hands of Prophet dressing them and their qadam on the, the way of truth and the, the way of truth is the way of muhabbat and love. Means they never leave the student and they were not ever relying on the student. So means this for our, our, our understanding that love never changes. But if we want to see its manifestation and we want to see its realities then these are the practices that we do. And the love that we nourish for the shaykh is not the same that you think the shaykh has to love you the same way. It's not a romantic relationship. His love is only for Sayyidina Muhammad and your love is for the shaykh. As soon as you direct your love to them, respect them, follow them, understand them, their teaching, direct your heart to Sayyidina Muhammad that love will never let you down. That love is an eternal love, an eternal bond. They're merely the cable man that come into your life to make the connection. And through their teaching and through all of these realities they begin to change your reality. They teach you how to connect and they facilitate the connection to the holy heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Tafaraq, don't make a, a split from that means that Allah asking, hold tight to the rope and don't split from that rope. So their whole life is to bring the rope from your heart into the rope of Sayyidina Muhammad and they make that connection. Through their teachings and through their knowledges they completely change the destiny of the servant. These, these nasheeds that we were reciting and reminder always from myself, they're teaching you realities most of which you don't understand. The comments on, on YouTube and everywhere, we don't understand what you're talking about. It's not important that you understand. It wasn't for your maqs, it wasn't for your brain, it was for the heart and for the soul. As soon as you sleep at night. Your soul heard exactly what Allah wanted conveyed to the soul. And the soul asks Allah that these knowledges and these understandings that were taught to me, 
These are in the oceans of the haqqaiq of the Muhammadan reality, the highest reality that Allah has. It's the reality in which Allah's love is emanating from that ocean. Allah takes you to where He loves, not the knowledge of Allah there's la sharik. Allah takes you to where He loves and what He loves is the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad I was a hidden treasure wanting to be known. So means that is enough for us to make tafakkur. Allah was a hidden treasure wanting to be known and keeps asking, do you know yet? If it's me you love, do you know? Are you understanding this reality of Prophet If not, your love still is incomplete. If you didn't understand the attributes of generosity and you didn't see it in the reality of the Muhammadan haqqaiq, you still didn't find Allah That's when He is teaching, I'm a hidden treasure, I want to be known. I'm going to be known by my most blessed and my most perfected creation. You'll know my generosity, you'll know all of my attributes through that reality. And when you truly enter into that reality and you understood it and you loved it and you made it more precious than yourself. Allah will begin to unveil His reality into the heart of that servant. Qulini kuntum tuhibunullah fa tabiyun wa yuhibakumullah. They have to follow, they have to enter into that ocean and they give their entire life for that reality to achieve that reality. And they come into our life and remind us as if it, Allah's, Allah you won't and that reality you won't give your entire life for that reality. Your hand shouldn't be shaking in everything that you do. What are you doing in amassing accounts and how are those accounts going to save you? If tomorrow this city becomes like Kashmir and they cut off all the electricity and they cut off all the internet. What you have in the bank will never help you. You hold it like a monkey holds nuts. You know how they catch a monkey in a tree? They put some fruit inside the hole of a tree and the monkey comes to put his hand inside the tree. As he makes a fist he can no longer take his hand out and he sits there until the hunter comes to kill him. It doesn't occur to him let go of the nuts. Let go so that you can run to be free. Means what people think they're saving for. Now is the time for bargain. Now is the time in which they exchange that dunya for their akhirah. Now is the time to prepare themselves for the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi Now is the time to complete their faith to act upon their faith and to bring out the realities of their faith. What Allah wants to dress them with, bless them with. When a shaykh comes and says that, come to see us, the order is, come to see us. Maybe there's a reality for your soul to be dressed. You see people, oh I don't have the time, I don't, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Then at least understand the level of the belief. What they're asking for of levels of belief and understanding to dress all the heart with its haqqaiqs and its realities. We pray that Allah inspire us to reach as we see the doors around the world will be closing and difficulties moving more and more upon the earth. What we are in need of is the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and that love to dress and bless the heart inshaAllah. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.